Shouts of shame from opposition politicians in Israel's parliament, the Knesset, early Tuesday. As a controversial bill to rein in the Supreme Court's power passed the first out of three votes. The overhaul, led by Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's right-wing coalition, won support from 64 out of 120 seats. The new bill strips judges of power to void decisions from government and elected officials and deem them unreasonable. Just before the vote, Netanyahu said in a video statement, the bill is not the end of democracy, it strengthens democracy. His remarks did little to calm protesters in Jerusalem, who swarmed outside the parliament on Monday ahead of the vote. Critics fear Netanyahu is curbing judicial powers as he stands trial for corruption on charges he denies. We're coming to wherever the coalition members are in order to send our message loud and clear that what this government is doing is not okay. Democracy is under attack. Israeli rights are under attack. The rights of Israeli citizens are under attack. And we're here to protect that and to say stop the coup, stop the judicial coup. Central Bank Governor Amir Yaron has urged the government to seek broad agreements over legislative changes in order to safeguard institutional independence. On Monday, he pointed to the costs of prolonged political uncertainty, citing a falling shekel and an underperforming stock market. Netanyahu, who is on trial on graft charges he denies, has played down economic fallout from the campaign. Protesters, meanwhile, promised to come out in force on Tuesday with no signs of tensions abating as the bill heads to its second and the final third readings.